Hey guys, welcome back. It is um, Wednesday, March, I wanna say 16th or 15th, not sure. Um, I'm headed right now to the doctor, and this is a new doctor. I needed to get a new like primary care physician um, in this new area that I live now. Um, my old doctor's like an hour away, so <laughs> I've been really lazy about seeing a doctor. I saw a couple doctors last summer, but it was just because I had that costochondritis crap, but it wasn't like, a permanent doctor and this might not be either I'm picky about my doctors so if I don't like her then I'll find someone else but she has good reviews and it's covered by my insurance it's like really close to my house so hoping it'll go well all right I'm at the doctor I think I'm gonna end up needing a few shots like I was looking up what you need before Thailand I don't think I'm up to date on like a lot of my shots so I'm kind of dreading it I don't know wish me luck I was right if you get a shot they're gonna come in any minute and give it to me I haven't had a shot in like a while, I feel like. Or actually probably last time was when I got my surgery, but I get my blood drawn all the time. I'm used to needles. So the appointment went really well, actually. It was weird. I booked it with another doctor, but she wasn't there. But they never even acknowledged she wasn't there. But the lady that was my doctor is really nice. I think it's kind of like one of those practices where you don't have like a specific doctor. You're just part of the practice and there's like three doctors there. I don't know. But the good news is she gave me um, some medications that I'll need before I go to Thailand. Like, I think it's called Typhon or something. Um, a malaria vaccine and then I got a hep hepatitis A vaccine, I think. I have to check if I still need B so they have to like talk to my other doctors and everything. Um, and then she prescribed me just a very small prescription of Xanax just for the plane. So it's not anything, it's not a big deal or anything. But I talked to her about getting on, I want to get on Vyvanse or try Vyvanse, which is a medication for ADHD. And um, if you guys have watched my ADHD video, I talked all about my experience with it. I've been on quite, I got diagnosed when I was really young, like in kindergarten. And I was on a couple different types throughout my life. I stopped during college because I got really sick of people trying to steal my pills for me and I just didn't want to deal with it so I went off of it for about four or five years now um, but I've been noticing I'm having a lot of concentration issues a lot of sleep issues so she recommended that like I asked her do you think I should and she said that we'll start with a small dose and see so I'm gonna wait a little while um, just to she needs to clear that with my previous doctor to make sure I actually did have ADHD and I'm not just making it up. Josh and I are gonna go to Bonefish Grill tonight because um, Josh got a gift card in the mail um, for something with his credit card. I think they sent it to him as like a reward, but I was like, sweet, I'll have, don't have to cook tonight and I'll have some ahi tuna. Sounds pretty damn good to me. So we're at Bonefish on Wednesday night, which means it's crazy packed in here because they have, what is it on Wednesday? It's, it's just like a slightly cheaper now. It used to be. Slightly cheaper for shrimp. Yeah. Good. Babe, did you like dinner? Yeah, it's really good. Super good. It is. I love their food. Me too. Bonefish changed up their water. They now have like these, I don't even know, pitcher things. I decided to stop by the post office. Have you ever been to the my P.O. box here? Yeah. Oh, you have? Oh, I didn't know if you'd went to this one. I don't know if you have anything in there actually. But it's so creepy at night. I can't go in by myself. It freaks me out. No, no, the self-serve area is open all the time. The retail lobbies. Exactly. Babe. They have self -serve. Pretty sweet, but they jam. Look at this, ready? I guarantee you there'll be so much advertisements and like just junk. <laughs> Actually, that's not even that bad. Hey guys, so it is um Thursday morning now and I'm about to clean our bedroom because you guys would be like, what? the actual fuck is wrong with you because <laughs> huh. yeah so we got this whole section that's a mess this i just literally have been not putting away clothes we have been so busy and so lazy and josh throws his shit everywhere and i've been doing it because normally josh is the only one that does that but i've been really bad about putting clothes away so i am going to Make this room nice again, nice and clean. We'll see how I do, and the bathroom is messy as well, so. I'm not leaving this bedroom until I get this done because I've been like putting off, putting away clothes for like two or three days. All right, check that out. Looking pretty clean if I don't say so myself. 
did a good job. Hey, what's that? Did you find a piece of paper for me? What is that, tissue? God, my room's a mess. You know what I find to be really funny is that like so many YouTubers try to make their living spaces look like perfect all the time. And when you see like those morning tours or house tours, like it's pretty unrealistic. We have a pretty clean house for the most part, but like who lives in a completely perfect clean house that's organized unless, I don't know, I guess some people would, but most people, no. I don't try to hide anything because I know you guys can relate better to real people anyway. You guys are always asking about the pre-workout that I use. This basically just gives you a ton of energy. This one's for women only, oh, but... It's not just energy. No, I know, but that's what I mainly use it for. Speak louder. Fat loss, <laughs> uh, muscle growth. <laughs> so Josh is the most back and forth Apple to Android user no. I've ever met. I've tried Windows phone, Android phone, iOS. Multiple times, multiple times, and every time yeah. you go back to iPhone. Yeah, and his I know. ass went back this time. I totally no, knew it was going to happen. No, I just, happen. I like the iPhone for phones. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. They're, they're just simple, nice. If you're into simplicity, iPhones. I know. And I like the app. But look what, look what Josh got. He got the It's the iPhone, iPhone 5C. So little. It's, so cute. It's like the baby phone. It looks like it has a case on it. It's so weird. I know it does, but it's not. What are you what doing? Are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. little dum-dums. If you guys are into planner stickers, I got a really cute package from Oh Hello Stationery Company. This is an actual website, but I do have a promo code for you guys if you are interested in buying from them. There'll be a link below, but <laughs> I think these ones are so cute. So I'm always like getting lunch with people or dinner with people and I want to put like a little lunch icon but I don't know what to put. So those are cute little knife and fork. We have a little April shower set, which is coming up. I can't believe it's almost April, holy shit. And then this is a little wedding one, but I already have wedding stickers, so I'm not sure if I'll end up using these, but it'll still be kind of fun. And love these little poop emojis. So funny, I love that and wine, which I definitely have been needing. I can't find wine stickers normally, or I haven't, I hadn't until now, so. Um, these are little beer stickers, which is super cute. And that's, this is a little sample one that comes with them, any order. These are little foods, which <laughs> on my low carb diet, I really can't have any of them other than the chicken, as long as it's not breaded, so. I don't know, but I have cheat days here and there. Um, and then we have this, which is for YouTubers or bloggers, but it's all types of, you know, analytics and camera. So if you're a YouTuber, you might want to check these out because I will, I will use these a lot. I'll probably be through with them in a couple months. We're trying to walk really quickly to the gym because it's starting to snow. See? It's freaking cold. I'm so cold. So I finished working out. Um, and showered. I gotta dry my hair, but the snow is like actually really coming down. I don't know if you guys can see, but um, I heard we weren't even gonna get snow, so I don't know. I'll just see how much. But anyway, I'm excited because tonight I'm making meatballs. I'm trying to perfect my low carb meatball recipe, and as an Italian woman, this is very important to me. I'm gonna do one thing different tonight, and once it's good, I'll share the recipe with you guys, but. I'm just a little nervous about it, which by the way, um, I've decided, not positive, but I think I want to start a series called Wine and Dine. Um, a couple of my subscribers came up with that on um, a live chat that I did on Strobe. And I think it would be really cute, like drinking wine and making food for my main channel. You guys should let me know in the description or in the comments what you think. I constantly say, let me know in the description, like in my videos and it drives me nuts and I like obviously can't go back and fix it. Meatballs are in the oven. Hopefully these turn out good. I changed my recipe slightly. So I hope that this recipe works well. All right, I'm just cooking the meatballs in some tomato sauce here. Um, finishing off, I bake them at first and then I switch them over. And I think it really helps with staying tender. So keep that on there for like probably another 10, 15 minutes and we'll have dinner. And then I decided to have, make uh, zucchini noodles, but I can't find my veggie thing. My mom got me like a while ago. If you saw my 
what my what I got for Christmas in 2014, I think. My mom got me a, I called it a vegetti, but it's like a veg, vegetable spiralizer. And I never, I don't know if it even made it with us in the move, so I might need to buy one if I decide I like these, because I've never made them before. Okay, these turned out pretty good, but I feel like I need to make them probably once or twice more tweaking things. Okay, so these are really good. I think I need to cook them in the sauce longer and bake them less. So that will be next time, my goal for next time. But the zucchini noodles are really good, but Josh won't even try them. Can you just please, for me, baby, please, I tried asparagus tonight for you. Yeah. Just one. Transfer. Transfer. Making the transfer. Oh. Fuck. Just take it off my fork, dude. Okay, no. ready? One. Two. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 dude. I don't like it like that. Josh, just try it. I am. I'm trying. Have an it. open mind. God. It's really good. Mm. Not that bad, right? It's better than spaghetti squash, but. Yeah. It's good texture with it. You are such a baby. Hey guys, so it is now Friday afternoon. I'm making some spaghetti squash for lunch. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna go get a spray tan here soon. And I'm really having a mellow day. I've been doing some wedding stuff. I've been like looking into different options for chair covers and things like that. Um, trying to come up with a wedding playlist. So I've been working on that this morning. But other than that, not much going on. Um, it's snowing again today, so. There's that, but um, I think tonight Josh isn't feeling too great, so we were gonna go see a movie, but I think we might go do that Sunday now. So we might just hang out tonight, watch movies at home, and I I kind of want to like I don't know if you guys saw my vlog a couple weeks ago when I went to a store called H Mart. They sell it's like an Asian grocery store, and they sell really good sashimi. So I think I might try to make my own like sashimi platter with like a bunch of different types. So we'll see. So there's snow on the ground, and I am. Wearing flip flops. Cause I am just cool like that. No, when I, <laughs> I probably look insane wearing flip flops out in the snow. This is why I need to move out of Colorado. But <laughs> um, when you get a spray tan, it turns out a lot better if you're not wearing like Uggs or something, which will smear it. I'm headed to spray tan right now. And I know I just did a huge clothing uh, donation, but I get a lot of clothes sent to me for being a YouTuber and I just feel like giving back. So I just got rid of a lot of things that, you know, um, I don't wear that often or don't wear enough that I feel like other people could get more use from. So I made a big bag and I'm gonna take it to um, the place where I normally donate clothes to, which is pretty close to my tanning salon. So um, I'm really sick of the snow. I started getting freaked out last night. I started having like major anxiety about the fact that it could rain on our wedding day, which it totally could. And I mean, it wouldn't be a huge deal, but I'd be really bummed because our wedding ceremony is outside and like, I don't know, sometimes I just wish I had it in July or something because it does rain a lot in June, but let's hope. Um, so I just finished my spray tan and donated the clothes, so headed back home. Um, I forgot to tell you guys what happened with the whole tan thing. If you watched my last vlog, I was talking about how I was having a really bad experience at the tanning salon I'm currently at and how I was trying to get out of my contract and they ended up letting me out of the contract so it's really good. I'm going to be switching to a different place that's going to be way cheaper for a way better package. Side note, I hope you guys don't mind that I don't wear makeup in a lot of my vlogs lately. I just, I don't know, it's hard to put makeup on every day, especially when I don't need to so like, um, I used to be way self-conscious about it and I never would have gotten on a camera to thousands of people without makeup, but I don't know, it doesn't bother me, I'm like, whatever. I'm gonna run to Walgreens now and uh, pick up a prescription um, from the doctor the other day. They prescribed like, I think it's a malaria vaccine, but it's like pills. So I didn't know you'd take vaccines, like I thought all vaccines are shots. So I have like, I think two things I need to get from Walgreens, so I'm gonna go there now. It always takes them so long, it's crazy. Welcome to just a moment. Okay, thank you. Can I just make this stay? I just want you to stay like halfway, there we go. Yeah, for
for Kendall. Okay, uh, we have three of them right in just a second. Let me get them. Okay. One medication is pretty expensive. What is it? Um, even as insurance, it's almost $140. What is it? Um, that one, are you Kendall? Yeah. Okay. Tovaquin Pro... Pro Guanil. Is that the, um, is that Xanax? No, it's not Xanax. Um, it's... Um, are you going to... Are you traveling? Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, that's preventative. Um, oh, the preventative. One day before you go to wherever it goes to prevent ma malaria. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that one is, uh, and, um, continue, um, start. I'll just, I'll talk to my doctor and see if there's an alternative. Okay. Um, yeah, I really doubt that there's an alternative for that one, but, um, yeah, see if what the doctor suggests. If not, then you can stop by to pick it up. Um, you have till 27, 10 days. Okay. Okay. So, um, so it'll be two of them so far. Um, it will be $20.15. Okay. 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 So I don't know if you guys could hear it on the camera, but the guy said that my malaria vaccine was like over $100, like $150 or something, even with insurance. So I'm gonna contact my doctor and see if there's any cheaper alternative because that is very pricey. I now understand why this box wasn't working because this one, we had to seriously jam this shut. I'm not filming you. This is completely broken. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know Lily was in there. But this is how they literally ship this to us. Like, I am very disappointed in their shipping. They weren't even willing to send me another box. So we had to pay $6 for that box. It's just ridiculous. And I can see why it came so broken. They completely overpacked it. They should have made three shipments. Are you having fun? They're just playing underneath the box. Oh! Careful, you'll knock the whole thing down. So it cost me $100 to ship that back. And huge lesson learned because don't be too hasty. Make sure you always have the measurements and sizes because I thought it was all good to go, but they were round top, not square top for the chairs. So it was like 230 bucks that I'm getting back, but I, I'm losing 100 bucks because I have to ship them back. It's absolutely ridiculous, but whatever i understand why they don't want to pay money back because you weren't going to get any back yeah they didn't want you returning so. yeah at least it's uh, it's just so frustrating it's a stupid move i was so hesitant when i bought them and then i was just like oh whatever we'll just do it what is that we're at costco everything's big those are ribs ew i hate ribs have we get they have the best bites. shrimp oh that looks good too i bet that is good Costco is huge. What is it? A dried cod. A dried Still cuttlefish. Spoon. This is called H Mart. It's an Asian market. What? Dried shrimps. Yeah, but that's for cooking. That's not. The sushi grade down ones are down here. These are the sushi ones, I think. Shishimi salmon. Yeah, it's so cheap. I feel like a sushi chef. Yeah, not a good sushi chef though. Sushi chef Josh. What that? What would your sushi chef name be? Um, Jush. Careful, Jush. <laughs> Jush. You gotta be careful, dude. I am being careful, my man. It's just the way you're doing that, my man. <laughs> What? Mom. Mom? My, my woman. My I'm woman. Sorry. I didn't mean to say man. Oh, you're okay. I didn't mm, know. This looks delicious. Josh is offering Meatball some fresh salmon. Will she take it? Who's going to take it? You want some, Lily? They're such babies. They'd rather have canned fake crap than real fresh. They'd rather shit. have ground up beaks. Duck beaks. 
Mm. Oh, they're probably all full, too. I'm sure that's what it is, that they've been getting fresh salmon. I think they're just little brats. Who don't want to eat salmon? I just realized that some of you may not know what sashimi means. It's raw fish. This is completely raw, has not been cooked. It's literally cut off. Of we fish. just open it up, it cut it, and then you just. It's like go eating for it. a raw steak. Except for not at all. <laughs>